Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about Thailand and COVID is back. For months and months and months we've had COVID under control here in Thailand, but unfortunately now it would appear that COVID is on the increase and um, I think the Thai authorities are panicking a little bit because the numbers have gone through the roof over the past week or so. Uh, with over 1,500 infections and the people that are getting blamed for doing this are the Burmese and the Cambodians. It supposedly started off from a fishing village near Bangkok and just spread from there. Originally 300 people were confirmed with COVID-19 and obviously them 300 people have talked to other people, been with other people and it's spreading from there. And at present I live in the Rayong district of Thailand and parts of Rayong as of today which is the 27th of December parts of Rayong has been classed as a, a red zone in other words it's very highly contagious in this area so there was 27 cases the other day and that was confirmed from a gambling club all met together and 27 people were confirmed so again who of them 27 people met and it's just going to carry on from there so as from the 28th of december all the shopping malls all the bars and restaurants in that vicinity are going to be closed any public meeting places are going to be closed already thailand has taken measures by stopping the countdown in Bangkok and Pattaya and also any musical events that cancelled all them as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll get a grip on this COVID outbreak and squish it and bring it back down to normal as it was or if you could ever be called normal with this COVID because it's spreading throughout the world. I think Thailand has done very, very well up to now to, to stay away from it. but. If they keep the finger on the pulse and they keep doing what they're doing, I'm sure they'll clear this COVID outbreak up. For all those people that are worried and don't have insurance for COVID, there is a, a cheap insurance, okay? It's not gonna suit everybody, but I think a little bit of insurance is better than nothing at all. And as the insurance is very cheap, it's 850 baht for the insurance, and that's up to 100,000 baht's worth of medical costs. I know there's some people are going to be saying in the Bangkok Rayon Hospital 100,000 baht's worth of coverage will disappear in two days and that's very true, it will if you go to the Bangkok Rayon Hospital but if you just go to the local public hospital COVID-19 is going to get tripped just the same no matter which hospital you go, go to and I, I dare say there's a little bit of um, if you get diagnosed with COVID you're going to get tripped for free they're not going to let you walk out the door with COVID. They're going to put you into isolation or they're going to do something so you don't spread it. So I don't really know what will happen with the if you get diagnosed with COVID and you don't have any insurance. It's not like any other illness that you have where it's not transmissible to anybody. If you walk out the door with COVID-19, you could go and give it to half of Thailand. So I'm sure there'll be something, although I can't guarantee there must be something that, as far as treatment's concerned, that they would do for you if you are a COVID-19 carrier. Um, so, this insurance is 850 baht, and I'll put a link down below where you can get it. There are obviously some restrictions. For the first fortnight, you're not covered for COVID insurance because obviously if somebody's got COVID and they take out insurance, then, then it's, they're not gonna pay out. So they're gonna make sure that you're COVID free for two weeks also a chronic illness but anyway i'll put a link down to the to the insurance company that does it read the terms and conditions and if you like it buy it if you don't well don't, then don't buy it i get nothing from this but i've taken out the insurance for myself and my wife because it's better than no insurance at all even though i've got medical insurance just an extra 850 baht to bump it up to a up to a million baht's worth of coverage but again, that's for critical illness, and if you die from it, that's an insurance premium that goes towards your family. It's just a, a COVID update with regard to Thailand and there it's back. So anybody wanting to come to Thailand as well, bear in mind that COVID is here. So even more restrictions are going to be placed on 
people and where they're going to be traveling so if you're in your two-week quarantine you may end up being further quarantined for a month two months who knows but Thailand keep your finger on the pulse and I hope that it sorts itself out sooner than later and from Les living the dream in Thailand until the next video bye for now